Augusta County Sheriff Donald Smith and his good friend Felix Chujoy are both named as defendants in a lawsuit filed today in Rockingham County Circuit Court on behalf of Plaintiff Christopher Moore. The lawsuit alleges that Sheriff Smith and Felix Chujoy violated Virginia common laws through trespass to chattels. Back in 2015, when then suspected human trafficker and Rockingham County Jail inmate Felix Chujoy called Donald Smith from the jail using Christopher Moore's inmate PIN number. And Sheriff Smith accepted the call, knowing it was Felix Chujoy on the other end and not Christopher Moore. The lawsuit also charges that the defendants, Donald Smith and Felix Chujoy, engaged in a civil conspiracy to interfere with plaintiff Moore's property rights through trespass to chattels and theft in violation of Virginia common law. The lawsuit states that based on the facts and assertions incorporated into this count, Defendants Smith and Chujoy have met every element necessary to establish the existence of civil conspiracy and that based on the facts and assertions incorporated into this count, defendants Smith and Chujoy engaged in a conspiracy with one another to commit trespass to chattels and theft by using plaintiff Christopher Moore's and other inmates personal property without authorization in order to avoid detection of their calls by law enforcement. Trespass to chattels is trespassing on someone else's property to convert it to your own use. I was able to catch up with the plaintiff, Mr. Christopher Moore, and he told me that he was unaware that inmate Chujoy was using his pin and that he did not authorize him to use his pin. I don't know how he got my pin number, so apparently he had either had to go in my pod and go through my paperwork, or he either looked over my shoulder when I was making phone calls on the phone to either call family or to order commissary, but I never, the whole time that I was in there, I never was aware that he had had my pen number or had used it until all this came about. Moore said when Smith accepted those calls and didn't tell federal investigators about them, he violated his oath as a sworn law enforcement officer. He's using my pen number to make calls to another a law enforcement officer who when he becomes a law enforcement officer, he is sworn to protect and serve. He raises his right hand under oath, not only under the state, but he also raises his hand under oath to God. So that's a violation within itself. As has been reported by Breaking Through News in the past and has been corroborated by federal court documents, the lawsuit states that the Rockingham County Jail provided copies of 11 recorded telephone calls to the Department of Homeland Security, nine of which are between Defendant Smith and Chu Joy. And that Defendant Smith, however, told investigators on Chu Joy's case that he received one telephone call from Chu Joy in March of 2015, right after Defendant Chu Joy was incarcerated about picking up his mail. And that Defendant Smith did not reveal any other telephone calls with Defendant Chujoy at either of his interviews with investigators on Defendant Chujoy's case, which took place in May 2015 and June 2015, the same months as the defendant's nine phone calls. The lawsuit seeks a solution of prayer for relief in the form of unspecified compensatory and punitive damages, as well as attorney fees. Now, aside from the lawsuit, Breaking Through News has also obtained yet another federal court document from the Felix Chujoy witness tampering case, which ended with three felony convictions against Mr. Chujoy. The latest document we obtained is the U.S. Sentencing Memorandum for Defendant Felix Chujoy. This was filed just last year on June 17th of 2018. Now, think about this. There are a lot of folks saying Breaking Through News isn't giving the sheriff a fair shake and that we are making things up. But this is a federal court document. And here in this document, the case has been tried. Felix Chujoy, the sheriff's longtime good friend, has been convicted and is being sentenced. And U.S. prosecutors are still referencing Donald Smith as a bad actor in this case. It doesn't matter that he wasn't charged. The U.S. federal government is still implicating him and implicates him all the way to the very end of the case. The first line of the first page of the memorandum states, Felix Chujoy's willful actions struck at the heart of the criminal justice system. By seeking to influence the testimony of a witness, Chujoy sought to hide the truth from the court and from a jury. In a system which seeks to get the truth, such actions do more than hinder law enforcement and make prosecutions more difficult, if not impossible. They corrupt the process itself and prohibit the finders of fact from knowing what truthfully occurred. Page three of the memorandum mentions Smith. It states as follows. In addition, federal agents corroborated information by interviewing the individuals whose numbers appeared in the witnesses' call detail records, including Carolyn Edlin, Yuri Jung, Mike Kwiatowski, and Donald Smith. 
During these interviews with Chu Joy's friends, agents learned that Chu Joy had made calls from their phones on various occasions after his arrest in December 2014, and that these associates had information relevant and or material to the Inca Secrets investigation. Then on page four, prosecutors make a footnote that reads as follows. In addition, when Kwiatowski did not visit Chu Joy in jail, Chu Joy used the PIN numbers of other inmates to contact his friend, Donald Smith, and repeatedly asked Smith to contact Kwiatowski for him. Even though the sheriff didn't do it, he had to have known what Chu Joy was repeatedly asking him to do was illegal, but yet he told no one and didn't report it to authorities. He swore an oath to uphold the laws of this land, but looked the other way for a friend. The sheriff needs to tell the citizens of Augusta County the truth, and this time, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, once and for all. The people deserve transparency and honesty from their elected officials. In Harrisonburg, Theodore Whitelow, Breaking Through News.